Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the Bixby 2.0 on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So fundamentally, Bixby hasn't changed much, but there has been a change to its interface. And also, it is now better at recognizing your voice and responds with a more natural voice. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clarify the interface of Bixby 2.0. Now, the first thing that you have is if you pinch the screen and if you scroll over, uh, Bixby Home can be enabled or it can be disabled. Now, if you enable it, it's going to reside on a side screen. When you swipe over, it's going to go into the Bixby Home. Now, Bixby Home is just a bunch of cards that give you updates, okay? And uh, it could be Facebook updates. It could be Twitter updates. It could be reminders. Uh, it could be uh, anything that you actually add into it. Uh, you wouldn't have a music controller here and of course things like weather. So it's a little, nice little interface. It is not laggy. Uh, it is pretty smooth. So this is Bixby Home. Now when you tap on the icon here, the settings icon, you can go into the settings and when you go to this settings, it takes you straight into Bixby Home settings. From where you can access your Samsung account, uh, you can access the cards. Now the cards are these. So this, each one of these things is a card. For example, this is the weather card. So if I go to the settings over here, and if I tap on cards, you can download, enable, or disable cards from here. So you have CNN card, Facebook card, uh, Spotify, Twitter, Uber, video, and then you have all these ones that are already installed that can be enabled or disabled. Now, if you go down, you'll see that the weather one is enabled, YouTube is enabled, uh, Twitter is enabled, and all that good stuff. So again, if you go back, uh, let's just go to the home, if you swipe over, you go to Bixby Home that feeds you a bunch of cards that you choose to elect uh, from the settings menu. Now, that's not the only thing that Bixby does. Bixby can do much more. You can talk into Bixby. Uh, you can uh, have it modify settings in your smartphone. You can have it control applications and much more. Now, let me give you a quick example. So basically, I can say, hi, Bixby. Change the screen timeout to two minutes. Screen timeout is set to two minutes. So what Bixby did was it went into the settings and modified a setting that I would have done this way. So I would have gone to the settings. I would have gone to the display. I would have scrolled down and I would have went over here to screen timeout. This is when the screen uh, actually turns off uh, after the phone is unused for two minutes. And I could have just made it five minutes, 10 minutes or whatever. Uh, right from here. So basically Bixby can go in and modify any setting within the entire settings of your smartphone, which is pretty fantastic. So let me just go back here. Hi Bixby. Change the screen timeout to five minutes. Screen timeout is already set to five minutes. Okay, so it already knows that it's been set to five minutes, so it didn't make a change, but it did uh, notify me that it's already set to five minutes. So Bixby allows you to control your smartphone. I can even say something like this. Hi Bixby, optimize my phone. Okay, so click done. And then basically the same thing I could have done if I went to the settings, went to device maintenance, and if I tap on optimize over here, which is already done. Again, I can go into any one of these settings over here and make a modification. Uh, I can actually say to Bixby to change the uh, battery power savings mode to medium, and it's going to do that for me just by voice controls. So that's one of the keys of the Bixby. By the way, I've been saying hi Bixby. Uh, as you can see, it's going to come right up to bring Bixby to uh, uh, to listen to me. I can also press and hold this button and talk into it. OK, the Bixby button is on the side here uh, under the volume rocker. So you can press and hold into that. Let me show you that real quick right here. Hey, Bixby, how are you? I'm as happy as a kid napping in the sun. Thanks for asking. So I can do that as well. Uh, so some people are wondering, how do you get into the other Bixby settings? Because if you go over here and if you tap on this and if you go to the settings, all you get is access to the uh, card settings, the Bixby home card settings over here. But there's so much more to Bixby. So where, where are the other uh, settings residing? So what you want to do is you want to press this button and it brings up the other Bixby home. 
on the top you've got two menu items now this one allows you to go into the settings and play with Bixby voice settings which is when I say hi Bixby uh, whatever comes up uh, let's cancel that so you can have the the language and voice style you can have a voice response so when you talk to Bixby do you want a voice response or you just want Bixby to do whatever you ask without responding okay so if you say change a setting it's gonna tell you I changed this setting but if you disable this okay uh, it's not gonna say anything it's just gonna do what you ask then you've got the automatic listening which uh, enables me to talk to Bixby uh, hands-free without pressing the button uh, by saying hi Bixby as you can see it's gonna come right up uh, you got the voice wake up uh, you can use it while the phone is locked and all that good stuff so these are the settings for Bixby voice when you talk to Bixby now there's a bunch of other settings and in these settings you have a list of complete commands you can utter to Bixby so you can press this button uh, it's got your picture your nickname your email uh, your address your payment methods if you add but the most important thing here is the services tab so if I tap on the services tab uh, you'll get access to all the apps that you can control using Bixby as you can see you can uh, uh, access the uh, accessibility settings alarm and timer now let me show you one example with the timer hi Bixby set a timer for five minutes it launches the clock and sets the timer so that start running at the clock right away so that was the timer and then you've got uh, Bixby home controls so let me show you what you can do you can tap on any one of these guys and Bixby go, go to discover and it's gonna show you all the commands you can actually talk into Bixby okay so you have a bunch of commands for alarm and timer uh, you have a bunch of commands for Bixby home if you go to discover tab manages something else but if you go to discover uh, you can say this now sometimes it doesn't list everything but it shows you the suggested things to say and then we go back here we got the Bixby vision we got the calculator go to discover gives you some examples and after you look at the examples you can actually guess what else you can say okay so you have all these apps over here that you can control uh, using Bixby voice which is absolutely fantastic they even have a tip calculator here uh, if you go to discover you can see stuff like that so let me show you that hi Bixby what is a good tip on $100 your 15 percent off is $100 total is $15 okay so when you ask a question like that it gives you the answer right here a nice big of uh, uh, fonts here at the bottom you have some other options you can keep asking if you so desire so you can say What's an 18% tip? It already knows you talk about $100, on $100, so it brings it up. Total uh, is $18. So it brings it up just like that, okay? So again, you've got the Bixby Home, okay? Uh, you can say hi Bixby to bring up Bixby voice and talk to Bixby and utter commands, uh, shout commands at it. You can press and hold the Bixby button just like this, right over here. Hey Bixby, how are you? I'm as happy as a kid napping in the sun. Okay, so you can talk into it just like that by pressing and holding the button. And also, if you just tap the Bixby button, it brings up the Bixby uh, interface from where you can access the two menu settings. So this one right here goes to the voice uh, settings. And the voice settings, again, you can disable everything. You can disable Bixby Home. Uh, you can disable uh, the uh, Bixby voice if you wanted to. So if you tap this guy here, you can say never. Uh, you can tap on this guy you can turn this completely off so if you say hi Bixby it does not turn on anymore all right and uh, everything can be turned off no problem and then of course you've got this uh, thing over here and if you go to services you can get an idea of what commands you can utter into the Bixby voice interface uh, these are just a few examples you can even say increase the font size it's going to increase the font size of everything of the entire phone so again you can go to the settings control all the settings now one final thing with the Bixby is the fact that you can in fact create custom commands to make your life easy so you can actually say something like hi Bixby good morning and Bixby can actually uh, turn the brightness on, on your phone it can increase the volume of your of uh, 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 ringtone and all that stuff so when you go to sleep you can say good night to Bixby and it can reduce the brightness uh, it can turn on always on display 
and at the same time it can also put your phone on a do not disturb mode so you can do all those things as a, as a collection uh, if you create a custom command now again if you tap this icon you can go to quick commands and from here you can add commands to Bixby so you can click add and you can say what you say to Bixby is going to be right here okay and then what Bixby does when you say that command so when you tap here oops add a command from here you can select a command say a command or type a command let's just select a command let's say when you go to uh, go to sleep you want the alarm to be set uh, from 7 a.m. to 6 30 a.m. just an example also let's say you also want it to uh, uh, change no that's not, not the date and time select the command let's say you want it to do a device maintenance before you go to sleep so when you wake up everything is good to go optimize my phone so when you say hi Bixby good night so when you say that or when you press and hold the button and say good night directly to Bixby it's gonna run these two commands at the same time alright so again you can add as many commands as you want and take batch actions uh, with one single voice command so that's another big feature of Bixby uh, again Bixby home all right uh, if you if you press this button one time Bixby voice you can go to the voice settings from here disable enable Bixby voice uh, tap this look at the tutorials that if you uh, if you have to and then tap this one one more time here and go to quick commands to create custom commands for Bixby and just say it directly to Bixby and that is the end of a quick Bixby overview uh, this is Bixby 2.0 for Samsung Galaxy Note 9 I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a few other things uh, this video was being requested a lot so I had to make it really quickly for you guys now if you do have any questions comments or concerns just drop them down below and of course make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up and uh, if you do use Twitter Instagram or Facebook Follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. Guys, have a fantastic day.